हेलो एवरीवन लेट्स स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट चैप्टर इन दैट थर्ड पार्ट लियोपोल्ड वोन रैंक ही वॉज अ जर्मन हिस्टोरियन ही बॉर्न इन 1795 एंड हिज बर्थ ईयर सॉरी डेथ ईयर इज 1886 नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट Historiography of the 19th century was greatly influenced by thoughts of Leopold von Ranke of Berlin University. Historiography which is written in the 19th century in that historiography we can find the great influence of the thoughts of Leopold von Ranke. He spoke about the critical method of historical research. Critical method means critically examining the things. he put emphasis on the utmost importance of information gathered through original documents he has given em- emphasis or he has given stress on the thing when the historians they are doing the research that time they have to collect the original documents and through the original documents they have to continue their work of historiography he also stated that all types of documents associated with the historical event need to be examined with greatest care he is also saying another thing that when the historian they are collecting the original documents when they are examining that original documents that examining process should be very carefully uh, should be uh, should done very carefully he believe that with this method it was possible to reach the historical truth he is saying that if a historian is keeping in uh, these things in his mind then and preparing the um, historiography that time it is possible to reach the historical truth means a historian he has to think about these thing means he has to critically examine the thing when the documents are collected that document should be original and after collection of original documents it should be handled the examining process should be handled with the great care so these thing when a historian will follow that time the history will come that is the real history he criticized imaginative narration of the history so leopold wolf rank he was criticizing the imaginative narration we cannot imagine the incident so it is not the real history the real history is having its its own proof collection of his articles is published in two books entitled the theory and the practice of history and another book is the secret of world history these are the two books written by leopold von rank now we will go to the karl marx karl marx his birth year is 1818 and death year is 1883 in the latter half of the 19th century a new school of thought arose keeping in view the new thesis formulated by karl marx so karl marx he he was Uh, starting the new ideas the new concept what are that new thesis we will see according to the karl marx history was not about the abstract ideas abstract ideas means the ideas existing in thoughts but not having a uh, sci- uh, physical or the concrete existence so that idea history is not about the abstract ideas it is about the living people human relationship are shaped by the fundamental needs of the people and the ownership as well as nature of prevalent means of production to meet those needs karl marx want to say that human relationship you know, it is shaped by the two things first the ne- fundamental needs of the people and second that needs are filled by the means of the production the ownership it is very important the accessibility of these means of different strata of the society may not be equal he is saying that in the society there are different strata different levels huh? high class middle class lower class so 
means of the production and the uh, so means of the production is not equally distributed some people are very rich they can invest money and they can produce the means of the production means they can generate the employment and they can give the employment to the rest of the classes so here he karl marx want to say that the in the society all start all are not equal this inequality causes a division of the society into classes so due to this in the society there is a division of classes what is the class now see what is the class struggle leading to the class struggle according to marx human history is the history of class struggle as the class was owns the means of the production economically exploit the rest of the classes here karl marx want to say what is the class struggle here we have seen the classes how the classes has made as per their economy cal condition so here again karl marx want to say that in the class struggle the owners those are having the means of the production they are economically exploiting the rest of the classes means suppose a industrialist or the capitalist what they will do they will give the employment to the people they want lot profit they will take more and more work from the employees and afterwards whatever the profit will come maximum profit will be taken by the by the capitalist those are having the means of the production owner of that so they will take more profit and very less profit will be given to the rest of the classes in this way the means of the production that owners exp- economically exploit to the rest of the classes and in this way the class struggle it is st- uh, it is spreading in the society karl marx he has written das kapital a treatise that is most referred book all over the world so das kapital is a well known book by the karl marx it is famous in the all all over the world now we will start the next topic annal schools at the onset of the 20th century a new school of historiography arose in france in the france some scholars those are having the same thoughts same ideas that scholars came together and they established new historiography that is called annal schools annal schools gave a new direction to histo- history writing it was recognized now that history is not only about the political event king great leaders and accordingly politics diplomacy and wars but also about the climate local people agricultural trade technology means of communication social divisions and their collective psychology etc in the historical times so here in these annal schools new idea came what is that new idea what are the opinion of that historians french historians about uh, historiography so here they are in the annal schools new ideology came that ideology was that history is not just related with the kings wars politics etc but it is also related with the climate people agriculture technology means of communication and psychology of the people so these things are these things should be included in the historiography same thing it is told by the voltaire also we have seen in the second session so these things are included in the histo- historical time and as schools were started by the french historians now feminist historiography feminist historiography means restructuring of the history from the perspective of women means we have to restructure the history which is perspective which is uh, formed by the perspective of women the writing of simon de 
we were help in establishing the fundamental uh, fundamentals of the feminism she was french the feminist historiography emphasized not only on the inclusion of the women in the history but also on the rethinking of the male dominated perspective perspective of history so french historian simone de beauvoir she wanted to tell that uh, in the historiography the women's inclusion is very important but not only inclusion of the women but rethinking of the male dominated perspective is also very important it drew historical research to focus in depth on various aspects of women's life such as their employment their role in trade union institutions working for their cause their family life etc so again in the feminist historiography it is said that we have to research on the various aspects of women's life such as her role in the family their employment and what is her role in the institution so these all the things should be included in the feminist historiography in the historical writing after 1990s women were portrayed as an independent social class so because of her efforts women they were portrayed as the independent class after 1990s now here um, one more historian is mentioned his name is uh, michel foucault his birth year is 1926 and date year is 1984 he was a french historian of the 20th century Michel Foucault Bob brought forth the new concept in historiography. He is he in his book Archaeology of Knowledge argued that the prevailing practice of arranging historical events in a chronological order is not right. In the beginning of our lesson we have studied in history chronological order is very important arranging the events which took place in the past in a chronological order is very important that we have seen in the beginning but michel foucault he is arguing that this is not right he drew attention to the fact that archaeology does not strive to reach the ultimate historical truth but attempts to exp- explain various transitions in the past he is saying that to arrange the event in the chronological order that is not so important but what is important to reach the ultimate historical truth by attempts to explain various transitions in the past means in the past whatever transitions whatever change changes made by the people that to focus on that thing is very important foucault felt that explaining the transitions in history is more important so he is saying that transitions changes brought in the history that is very important he called this method the archaeology of knowledge foucault subjected in so far acknowledge areas acknowledge areas means the areas uh, which is the areas those are having uh, existence but not accepted so that area he has given uh, more attention so what are that area c foucault subjected to so far ac- unacknowledged unacknowledged areas by historians such as uh, psychological disorder here psychological disorder means mental disorder science of medicine prisoner prison administration what is the prison administration prison administration involves uh, security and discipline it also involves enforcement of rules and regulations in management of the prison system so these areas uh, uh, and these all the things historically analyze so by the uh, michel foucault thus the scope of historiography kept continuously expanding 
now the histography got lot scope it is expanding continuously writing of his histories of various subject like literature architecture sculpture drawing and painting music dance drama films and television etc came into practice so now children here in the last conclusion they have said that in the histography various things various subjects came into practice like literature architecture sculpture drawing painting music dance films etc so here in this way our first chapter has completed